upbeat run considering Saturday's outcome. How do you think this team is responding? Onward. You know, it's just ready for uh, Indiana. You know, we had a great challenge in front of us. You can't dwell on, you know, the past. We made our corrections. Uh, we had a great practice yesterday, and our focus is on Indiana. Ryan? How, how many quarterbacks are you guys preparing to face on, on Saturday? How many do you think we should prepare for? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, what you see on film, you know, uh, you got to prepare for everything. You know, we don't, we don't know. Uh, you know, obviously we have what we think could possibly happen, but, you know, we, we're not going to leave any, anything uncovered. So, you know, we're preparing for everything. I think two weeks ago, Steve said, you know, he wanted to see this group generate more turnovers. Are you pleased with, with where that, that seems to be trending right now? You always want one, you know, one more, you know, one more than whatever you get, you know, uh, you know, for us, uh, you know, if you could average four to three turnovers a game, uh, you know, that, that that's quite a significant number. And, um, you know, but, but anytime we have an opportunity to make a play on the ball, whether it's in the pass game or the run game, you know, uh, with punch outs, uh, that's something that we work on diligently every day. Uh, you know, our focus is forcing turnovers and getting the ball back to the offense. So um, just every opportunity you have, uh, you, you're always going to want more. Uh, Ron, what do you remember from the 2001 game? You guys, you know, obviously lost in the last seconds of a tight game, I guess, and then you had that controversy of Paul. How did you guys respond after that game? After we fixed the locker room and Larry Foote destroyed it, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we came back. The one thing uh, Coach Carr told us was, uh, you know, kind of a similar approach that Coach Harbaugh has. Uh, you know, it's, it's a fighter's mentality. You know, you get you get a punch, you don't lay down on the canvas, you get back up, you keep swinging. And, uh, you know, that was our philosophy 20 years ago. That's our philosophy this week. Uh, I wanted to take you guys to get over it, though. I mean, like, was it? Was you got the 24 hour rule. You know, it's, it's the 24 hour rule. You got the, uh, you know, win or, win or lose. You know, you got to. Move on, you know, correct the mistakes, whether you're winning or losing a game or, 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 or you know, anything you're competing in and, uh, you know, reshift your focus on uh, what's next. And that's, that's Indiana for us. Michael? Ron, earlier this week, Jim said that there were some fits on the back end that could have been improved a little bit in some of the big plays. What have you thought of the angles that the safeties have taken the last couple of weeks? And is that an area that needs to get better? No, absolutely. You know, it's something that we're working on all the time, you know. Uh, you know, just constantly, uh, you know, try to improve things that we see, you know, uh, you know, show up on film on Saturdays. So that's that's something that's, you know, we're working on. When a guy struggles with an angle is, or takes the wrong one, is that because he's too eager to try and get there quickly and make a play, or is it just because they're not reading it right? What do you notice in that? Well, it could be multiple things. It could be, you know, maybe the player didn't see it as quick, um, or it could just be the ball just got on them faster than they anticipated getting on them. So. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's one of those things where, you know, in the back half, you got to get it down. And that's, that's something that we constantly work on. Isaiah? Now that the uh, college football playoff rankings are out, how, how, how much do you guys internally pay attention to that? I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't even know what they look like. I don't, you know, really don't pay attention to it. Uh, I don't think many of us do. You know, we're just so locked in and engaged, uh, you, know, uh, you know, with our opponent this week that we – we, we, you know, we can only control, we can control, and we don't even worry about rankings on Sundays. You know, usually you hear about it, you know, whether you, uh, you know, the kids talk about it or maybe something you might see on social media scrolling through or something, but I don't think, you know, no one's really talked about it. From your vantage run, even as a receiver and, and as a player, what do you describe what, what Andre Anthony did uh, last weekend? The progress he's made in practice to get to this point. Yeah, you, you know it's it's uh it's pretty unique. Obviously, you know having a chance to start off with Jarrell uh, when I was with the receivers briefly, um, just watching his development from from that point in January all the way to now, and um, you know he's a kid that uh, has a, a a great career ahead of himself. And uh, you know credit Coach Gaddis for uh, you know getting Jarrell to you know get to this point where he's at now and. You can see flashes, you know, Drell showing up and showed up big on Saturday, and it's something that you hope that he continue to build on. How closely are you watching the, or following the high school football playoffs? Uh, a lot, you know, for me, because there, there's kids that, you know, we're still, uh, kids that we are, you know, recruiting that are in the playoffs. And, you know, uh, for me, obviously, 
you know, have vested interest in the sense the fact that a, a school, you know, that I came from and opponents and stuff I played against. So, you know, probably me more than anyone else, you know, very familiar with it. It's the life I lived for the last decade. So, um, but I, I see it differently than most people do.